mine dungeon time, maybe, to level up a little bit? Uh, have a look in there. I'll have a look. I just need to... I need to see if I got any XP for the Rory thing. For the Rory thing! XP for suicide! What? What? Hey, if we're taking direct responsibility for his death, that's a kill. RPGs give you XP for kills. I always worry worth, you know? What is the value of a man? Okay, gun. Didn't you say take her here and she would convert it into fucking... I don't know. Me neither, Snake. I just don't fucking know anymore. Oh, they didn't get any XP. I don't know if we have any XP. Let's see if we have any XP with which to work. Even though I don't think it matters. Like the strength stat is busted at this point. No, nope, we only got one experience. I think we're oh, I think we're good, you know. Yeah, let's let's just go. Let's just go and see what happens next. Like, let's face it, we were working to get Rory killed. And that robot said you gotta level up if you want to win, but frankly, I don't care. I don't care about a good ending. I just want an ending. If fucking meteorite crashes down, everyone dies. Good. Talk to you, talk to sightseeing guy. Cause... Hey. No, I can't talk to him. That's that's the only person I care about. But he got his Z now. It took him, took him like over six months, but he did it. We didn't even get to see the Z. It's just like Alex is like, oh, I like it. We didn't even get to fucking see it. The only narrative thread in the game. We gotta go to Windtown. Oh, I'm going there, but I'm gonna go. And buy some cameras. <gasps> yes. No, not not cameras. Like I think Rickers are cheaper. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's the same general direction, I believe. Oh. Yeah. Right next to each other. What's this sultry shit? Honestly, the only party members that are important are Bella and Rory, I guess. What's the cheapest one? This one, I believe. Just buy a bunch of them, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we are, we're not going to need too many of these. Like, 30, 30 uses of that attack. You know, I had a dream last night. In my dream, I saw my brother. But my brother was you. Hey, uh, Rory's dead. Kid, you hear the news? Ugly ginger like yourself. But you came to me <laughs> I was missing for several days, Claudio. <laughs> Bitch, you ugly ginger. I don't care if you were missing for a couple days, Rory there, and he was an ugly blonde kid. And ugly blondes are gingers. Ugly. <laughs> Remember the android from that van? Well, that android was Vela. Oh, that android is every woman. That it relates to, so it relates to Alex, I guess. Mind dungeon. If he ready yeah. To fight this thing when it comes for us. You down? <laughs> training in the mind dungeon. Very. What does that mean? Dude, what does that mean? Okay. We haven't really You're been good. training there. You brought a sense of adventure back in my life that. You've just learned the world's me. ending, Claudio. You're allowed to be a little downbeat. I didn't know, man. Meaning you and your. Why? Friends. Why was it the best thing to ever happen to you? You barely were there for the adventure, and it sucked. Even if this whole thing had been fun, you weren't involved in it that much. You turned up, we went through a cave that you had apparently been through before because you knew the guy at the top and had visited him. And then what? You came and we chased more rats. What else were you there for? Were you? Yeah, we didn't even do anything to... since we started from the top of the fucking list. Like, usually, with these kind of things of, man, traveling with you guys, it's been a blast. You kind of have, to have at least one or two calm moments where a friendship is kind of... Whereas every single has been like, my brother has been missing and I want to see him. And yeah, 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 yeah. You've, yeah. Not, you've not put in any work into helping my problems, but... Claudio's whole thing was... We found him because of the Ultima LP. We talked to him. His brother had been missing... He, there was a racial like narrative reference to him because no one cares about him because he's black. Which like, okay, are you gonna go anywhere with that? 
guess not. Just a fucking... Just a reference there for some fucking bulk points for this white developer. And then... Literally nothing. You know, I feel like this is a hollow thing to complain about. But why do we look through the goggles to see a pulled out view? I know that's just an extreme nitpick because it's a convenience, but... <laughs> Snake, I'm not going to fucking even <laughs> interact with that point. It's just, it's just I fucking, just you know, so you, the for the puzzles, the just to see a, a wider old. area. And why it's so in Franken when there's no puzzles and there. I just to see, home. like, some money trees. Are they gonna, like, so, is Chandra gay? What? Is Chandra gay? I it's don't like know. she went to Korea and she had her friend there and then she went home. Is that? She has like a rainbow anyway, thing on her fucking cap. In her hat. I couldn't tell you, man. Cool, I guess. <laughs> God, just like, give me your indie game. Just fucking add more gay again. stuff into and it, I guess. So. Oh, yeah, because the one gay thing it did add was so good. Like one gay thing it added was like, oh, your gay partner? He could fucking die. I hate- I- I just hate media. You just know that the fucking act developers are fucking straight. Yeah. You can know they're straight because there's just nothing- just no aesthetic to it. I'm gonna do my best to help you. How'd you figure that out? You'll figure it out. You're smart enough. You have all the clues you need. Vel- Vela, we're not Chandra. smart. We figured out so many what? things, and we just we're not smart. <laughs> Chandra, I'm gonna be real. I didn't listen to that conversation whatsoever. Legitimately though, Chandra is like the least annoying character we've interacted with so far. Wait, what about Michael? They appear to deserve everyone's help. No, Michael is definitely annoying. I mean, if you think of back, of, back, of, back. We were like, what? We were trying to avoid him because we, because it was he was obviously our first party member. Why had anyone else seen him? Wait, wait, were they just referencing that Michael was gone? Who cares? Michael, yeah. Oh. Come to the forest meadow just south of Frankton. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, I hope we're gonna have a fight. I hope we have a boss fight. Forest meadow just south of Frankton. Banger. Oh, boss fighting a member of your party? That's so sexy. Like, that's something good games do. Yeek could maybe steal that. Oh, imagine if, like, you're playing Final Fantasy, you're like, Oh, I love this party member, and then they're like... And remember when thousands of years ago your father killed my mother? Well, now it's time for my revenge! And you're like, holy shit! I guess! I have no idea what's going on, but yeah! Hell yeah! Cause just, it's a rival fight is rad. They're their own reward. They really are. <laughs> just in Claudio's car. <laughs> We're taking Claudio's car to go f run over Michael. What if Michael and Rory were boyfriends? And they killed their gays? Oh, this is some bullshit. Look at him! Do you see him there? Look at him! He's a... <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Look at him! He's like, he's like... <sighs> Hang on a second. He's fucking standing there on a stump with a fucking nerd! Gotta make this cutscene right. Give it about as much disrespect as it deserves. Oh fuck! Put that there pin on his head. Michael, is that you? Where the hell have you been? Are you a soul I'm survivor? Where the hell have you been, Alex? I called you. We've been looking for past week. What? No oh, that was the weird, awkward time skip after talking to. That oh, that's for? some fucking hair. It's so trivial. Proto Michael. See? No, of course you don't. I wouldn't have a week ago. Did you have a bunch of development off screen, Michael? What happened? Download the DLC for Yeek. 
the the Michael, Michael story. Chronicles. Alex, something has happened to me. Chest hair. I am transformed. I've come to understand certain things. You've taken up Buddhism. I've been exposed to the truth. What do you mean? Alex, you're overlooking the floating part. I love his subtle chest hair. That's it's not kind of subtle. subtle. I don't know. I only just now noticed it after you mentioned it, and I was like, chest hair. I was like, oh, I see it. And it's just, it's kind of hilarious if you look at it. Oh yeah, your like, screen is like, much like cover, than... like with your hands, cover his face and look at his chest hair. <laughs> Are you doing it, Snake? No, because I'm currently sprawled no, 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 out no, no, in my no, chair. No, no, Snake. Snake, I want you to cover his face with your hand and look at his chest there. Alright. Do you see that? I do. That is a different character. That's fucking stupid! <laughs> yeah, no, you take it away. It's like, he should not have chest hair. He shouldn't have chest hair. He should have chest hair, like, as a, like maybe as a person, or maybe not. It doesn't matter. When you look at him, just there, it's, Alex, it's literally fucking stupid. Dungeon alone, and I wandered and wandered. Soon I stumbled upon Who's my dungeon, names. your own? Each of these names was yeah. to a door. Inside each of these doors was a life. My life. For nine days straight, I experienced... You know, that's one of those things where for nine sense. days straight, that isn't actually seemingly that long or interesting. Alex. To experience a parallel life in real time is to become an oxymoron. <laughs> Got the fucking oxy on that one, pal. Honestly, Alex's life has like even in this game, Alex's backstory is in the most uninteresting thing. Why would we care about him? He's just like in a yoga pose in the middle of winter, like outside. Oh, you're talking about Michael. My I was agreeing with you when you said Alex is the least interesting, but I still agree with you when you say Michael as well. That's the fucking I mean, contradiction. Yeah, Alex isn't that interesting, but stuff has happened to him, I guess. He's been our main character and we've seen him, and even if it is uninteresting, we still saw it. Alex is not Michael's thing, it just comes out of nowhere and he's like, I took photographs, dude. And stuff is crazy. Anyway, here I am. That is the fucking thing about Michael, is that he's so boring that this reveal that I went on this great journey of discovery is like, Fuck what this. did you fucking discover? You were an accountant in another life? The thrilling life of fucking data entry in another what universe? What the fuck is Proto Michael? What the- Proto is like- Prototype. The beginning. The prototypical. Yeah, Proto. What is that fuck- I mean, I know what it means, but what the fuck does that mean in fucking to Michael? Does it mean that because he's seen his other lives, he has reverted to a more true form of himself where he only sees the self, not the ways life could take him? His hair is slicked back. He's got his fucking chest hair. Yeah, he's going for some Ace Attorney shit there. Look at Alex's fucking face! Like, he should be eye-rolling right now, like, dude, get, get off this philosophical shit, man. He literally is though. He is so eye rolling. You realize what not helping a friend can do to that friend. Rory's dead. Michael, did you see how you you can as a media? Okay, there's so many opinions I have on Yeek, but generally, like ethically, what I think as a media, you cannot blame your main character for suicide even if like if that's like the point you're going for and you're like setting up and you're like trying to say something with it maybe like your character and you have the choice of it you should not have a control over a certain character's suicide that is just like just like narratively and ethically disgusting this isn't what it was like yeah no that is a weird one because that is a weird guilt trip to put on the fucking player. And it's way too... Yeek, no matter how much Yeek says, no matter how many words it has, and no matter how much it will pontificate on nothing, it does not have the grace to carry that plot point with any amount of grace. Something is like, Persona 4 is a fucking, like, visual novel, like, dating sim RPG action game, you know? And if, like, some of the characters literally could kill themselves because of you, this is so fucking tasteless. Do you ever remember things wrong? No. I don't 
think so. What does that mean? There have been games that have had, you know, you're able to cause someone to off themselves. And generally more CRPG kind of things where you have a great layer of personal agency in how you control other people. Also, it always feels just kind of cheap. It well, always it's more, here's the thing as well, is like only any examples that come to my mind are more played for comedy where it's like, this is a comedy character. It's at best a fucking, you know, parody of a person. They are, you know, it's weird. Whereas Rory, they were trying to give him genuine tragedy and pathos and no. Every time it's serious, it's just like, it's kind of like it's just bad taste in your mouth. Like, what? Like, what? zoom, uh, like, mentally right now. Because we did just interact gradually, with him? Noonam, Noonam, get yourself directly level with Alex's face and just zoom in and think about, just think the phrase, this is a serious story that you are meant to take with weight as you gradually move your head closer and closer to Alex's face. Also, just what he says that. is generally incorrect. What? Fucking nostalgia. What? Well, this game takes place nostalgia. in 1999. Chrono Trigger, baby. I mean, yeah, that part, but like, just you can make you can make the feeling of nostalgia. Like, like it doesn't even have to be that hard. Like Kingdom Hearts 2, the Rocks is just segments. You don't get to go back to Twilight Town until way forward into the plot, and when you go into there. Honestly, there is a little sense of nostalgia because you started the game there and now you've developed so far. And there, it is there, but there, for Yeet, it hasn't happened. It, like, they haven't done that. There's I mean, been no nostalgia. I'm not even going to comment on the fact that Michael is meant to be funny in this framing, but... It also ties with the fact that you don't actually do anything in Frankton but walk around, talk to people... Everything you do in Frankton, the objective is to do something so you can get out of Frankton. Although, in a way, we have met many times before, both in the past with our parallel lives. It's like, hey, Shut up, Gabriel, man. <laughs> Shut up, Essentia 2000. <laughs> you fucking suck. I am going to make you weren't even introduced until last session. It is now the 24th of November. Oh, 24th of November, okay. But tomorrow? Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so we should start on Friday. Thanksgiving minigames. Honestly, if the this game did that, I would like the pointing, the rating would be higher, but it's probably not going to. Mm. Many of my parallel lives were Canadian, so this is <laughs> a surprise to me. As I experienced Canadian Thanksgiving a few weeks ago. Alright, fair enough. Friday we begin. Thanksgiving? I mean, it is soon Thanksgiving for us. We uh, For the Estonian oh, and the English person here. Mm. Very relevant. <laughs> now, with the threat of impending doom, I realize how silly it was to do so. And what else I've lived I mean, I guess it's an American thing. The family gets together and it's kind of... A wholesome but tra traumatic experience, but yeah, that's Thanksgiving. That's like Christmas or like New Year's for me. My uh, the Irish side of my family does Thanksgiving. Why? It's just an excuse to get together, drink, and eat. Uh, the core of my personality dropped away. I guess it's just like my family. We don't really have like a family, like a larger family. <laughs> we don't want anyone to fucking come and start like all like alcoholics and like just like generally problematic people. So we keep away and we're just alone. Imagine like like it's a sad thing to be like like on a holiday. It's just like your lone like general family. Because, like, your family is so distanced from everyone. But the family you're distanced I went back from is much more selfish, worse. Unfocused, lazy. I had no purpose. I was a blank slate that was covered in I mean, my, you know, my extended family ain't bad. I was going to defeat I got a lot of race. I got a lot of racist uncles. Even but, eh. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who doesn't, doesn't, doesn't have a racist uncle? uncle? 
what that meant. I didn't know. My racist uncle is my dad and ma. It was really amusing to me. It was, I think I told you this story in tech. That it was just like a few weeks ago, an uncle was visiting. And I walked downstairs. And he just, out of the blue, I just went down to get a glass of bourbon. And he just turned to me and said, Hey, Patrick, are you racist? <laughs> and it was extremely casual. And I was just like, no, no, I'm not racist. And it was like, oh, okay. And that was, that was it. And uh, But I was kind of thrown. I mean, really, what the fuck? Because if you had said yes, then it would have been like, you know what? Those packies. Um... I think it was about- I think he was asking because the cricket match with Pakistan was on. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. But essentially, no, it was really- the really amusing part. The really amusing part, though, was- So I poured myself a drink and I went, and I was just like, That was weird. I'm gonna ask. So I went back and I was like, Hey, what? Why'd you ask? And he just said, Oh, just curious. <laughs> I was like, that was it? It was, it just came off so like, he didn't care about the answer, races or not. It's just like, I just wanted, he purely just wanted to know. And, um, it was just really funny because then I did, uh, he did continue on. It was like, well, you know, like the cricket and that. <laughs> and I just stood there just looking because I was like, I kind of got it, but I wanted to see where he was going with this. And he just said, well, you know, they're, you know, they're saying it about us as well. And I like the fact that it was basically, it wasn't even so much to do with racism itself. It was just sports. And it was just a weirdly funnily ingrained thing of I just, mean, that's... you just, you just, you're just racist against the other team. You're just contractually, a, the match begins. You become I racist mean, uh... for the duration. I mean, racism is so stupid that that's just what it fucking amounts is like. Look at these packies up playing against us, the proud, proud boys of England. But I just in love the, I just love that from his perspective, he bared no ill will that they would therefore have the right to be racist against us as well because that's the game. I mean, yeah, but to think about it, you are a British fucking American. I'm not American, fucking British boy. British like, Irish for y British Irish because for you it. For you, for him, that doesn't matter. But if it was a Paki boy or a Pakistani boy, so, we don't really know. And it's just like the like the existential like life we are living in this world right now. Man, I I went to a very very uh, multicultural school. Um, North uh, North Islington, North Islington, North London, Islington. School I went to was like a very, very big mix. People from all over the world, Middle East, Africa, Caribbean, uh, Far East, you know, everywhere. People mm -hmm. from everywhere. Yeah, for everyone. It's and like, it's really just, it's really amusing just learning which groups are racist against which, just by and large. Like every year there was a massive, massive fight between Somali and Africans and everyone else. I swear, every time I catch the news, there's a new trend. The Turkish would, the Turkish <laughs> would fight Middle, e uh, Middle Eastern kids. When you experience the white, I mean, lives, what did the white kids do? It just do? all depends on the geopolitical <laughs> landscape that it's happening right now. Because like, I'm just that just makes sense, right? Like racism has always been a geopolitical thing. It's always a like, thing of the times. It's where convenient what people are stirred to, what's going on at this fucking moment, and you know, deeply culturally ingrained historical yeah, biases. Yeah, that like, yeah, yeah, just that. Like historical, it's so it has so it has like fifty percent history. 50% what's going on right now, which is why talking about it this is happening in during a year commentary right now. Which is why we talking get about it is just geek. It's just fucking geek. It's honestly brilliant. <laughs> so you think things are going <laughs> Snake. Snake, I'm sorry, but I love you so fucking much. Oh, I love you too, man. Oh yeah, this persona the now. Is... It's persona this... now. We gotta decide: do we go to the mine dungeon and do grinding, or do we hang out with our friends? We can't leave this room. 
Like, we go here and it's... No, 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 let's hang out with our more. friends, because it's less effort. Yeah, I'm saving, though. I'm going to make a couple of save files. I, I'm going to make a few. I've been saving to the bottom slot as well as a backup, because I do know this game has an alternate ending, and while I don't think we're going to get it, while I don't care enough... <laughs> you, the you alternate never ending, know. Snake? The alternate ending is Snake? Us watching it after this playthrough on YouTube. Um... Man, I am not sure I want to put in that much no, effort, no, no. if I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> we don't want to put in that much effort. The alternate ending, Snake, is us just being like, wow, what if Alex died at the start of this video game? It would have been much better. I'm going to annoy you because I'm going into the mine dungeon. That's not annoying. Okay, how do I grind in here? I'm going to annoy you because I'm going to go piss again. All right. Well, that's fine. That gives me time to do the fun thing and grind. And yes, I know I've got... Encourage your friends to level up. Yes. Oh, maybe i got to use the phone to mine dungeon it up. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, did that give them... That... Did I just level them all out to 34? Cool. All right. Wait, why do I go to train then? Where am I training? In my mind. No, seriously. Yeah, alright. Hmm, I might have missed something, but it said train in the mind. Did you find out the question, Alex? Oh, this is unrelated. Yours. Boy, can you do any damn thing right? Do you know when that pussy be stinking hella of iron, you know? When that pussy be stinking hella of iron. Ah! Ugh. Hi. Hey. I went to go and get a beer, but there's no beer, so I'm drinking bourbon instead. Yep, fair. Oh, God. Get out! Who are you to vex me with your profession? I'm just gonna skip this, I don't actually care. What is this even? What even is this? Ah, this is Mind Dungeon. You know those cutscenes we see sometimes in there? That meaningless drivel. That's all it is, you know? That's all it fucking is. Drivel. But we're still here. Driveling through it. Driveling isn't a word in that sense. Yeah, go for it, Sunny. Look, I want to train in the mine dungeon. I don't actually know how. I'm kind of lost. We still have yet to go to Rory's house. Well, we can't now. Can't. Where the f what are we? Like, we're in here. We're in the mine dungeon. I wanted to enter the mine dungeon to annoy you, but... Like my options are cancel, save, cancel, I don't get annoyed. It's the last time I got annoyed. You'll get annoyed eventually. I actually, you got annoyed several times during this. Hey, it's dark in here now. I mean, I got several times annoyed during E. I'm talking about like real, like aggravated annoyance, which is like, like only TDF is able to do that. Uh. Goodbye for now. Yeah, I, w I chose to enter the mine dungeon and it didn't work. It just... I entered the normal mine dungeon. Can we, like, escape our town? Like, not town, like, just our fucking house, like, room. I'm gonna try that again, even though it doesn't get me any XP, but... Today I'll try into the mine dungeon and spend time with my friends. Oh, go explore spend around Spend time with your friends. Yeah, I guess. Fuck it. Let's, let's just, just get... let's just keep going down, because the last time we did dungeon. Yeah. Is it weird for you two being the same soul or whatever? I don't think it feels real when you say it like that. Huh. I imagine mm. that if Bella were to suddenly become me, she would feel very weird. So it is Vella? Oh, no, it's been over this, Nunam. She is Vella and she is Sammy Pack 
and she hears a bunch of other people at the same time. I mean, yeah, I understand that thing, but just like just the general idea of it is just so, so self, just so fucking Alex. Okay, moving on. No, no, I want to hear more about this. Is this why you sometimes get a look of bliss on your face and stare off into the distance? That's when somewhere in a parallel life she's kicking your ass for asking such stupid questions, Alex. <laughs> Easy there. I like the fact that no one sits on the couch. I wonder what I'm like in my parallel life. Oh yeah, that is weird, this isn't it? Yeah. Blows. They just... The I mean, these are such quirky life, characters. You know what would be sad. funny, actually? You know what would be funny? If uh, Michael was levitating above the couch. If we had past and future lives... <laughs> He is le- but he is levitating currently. Why am I on my just- on my phone? Twitter drama. You know, in most other games, I'd think example, this would be a nice scene. If you, you know, you actually finally get to chill out and talk with your party members and get to know them. But Yeek has actually given me too much of that. And now I'm opting for optionally more of it. But that's because the other option is worse. Any way to tell what I'm like in a the fact that it's like essentially 2000 here is just weird. Why? Like, why? Qu quirkiness. A quirky robot girl. Very sexy. Alrighty. Pretty sexy. Alex, everyone's got their kinks, pal. I mean, it is very relatable just hanging out with your friends and being like, your king sucks. I mean, I think what would suck here is everyone here suddenly coming to the realization that actually, they don't like anyone else in this room, except maybe like Claudio and Chandra might like each other, but I did say earlier on, they could essentially be rolled into one character and who would give a fuck? Chandra and Claudio being like, What's up with these weird white people? <laughs> Why do we keep coming here? Apparently, we've had a great adventure in this time. Also, okay, now, so the ex thing? now the exit thing is just hanging above my head all the time. <laughs> Everywhere in this room. Exit, exit, exit. Boom! Let's see what happens if you press A. Hang on. Let's see what happens after I press when I press A. Next time on Yeek. Ooh, are we ending now? 